In the city of Klin, Moscow region, an agent of the Atesh partisan movement committed sabotage, and the Livan satellite communication station was destroyed. Atesh posted information about the sabotage on his Telegram channel. According to the partisans, the station was located at the location of the 584th Guards Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment. The partisans emphasized that Livan provided communications at the strategic and operational levels of the command of the occupation armed formations. As a result of the destruction of this station, the control system of the mentioned anti aircraft missile regiment was significantly disrupted, and as a result, the air defense system of the entire Moscow region was weakened. The message notes. Atesh has repeatedly reported on the successful operations of its agents against the occupying forces of the Russian Federation. In particular, at the end of May information appeared that partisans in Russia staged sabotage at an important logistics hub in city of Yaroslavl. It is noted that thanks to this successful sabotage, the transportation of military products from the Yaroslavl radio plant, the Rybinsk Saturn plant, the Luch Design Bureau and others was difficult. More and more Russians are joining the ranks of our movement. They are actively fighting against the current racist order in their country. We are preparing dozens of new operations that will bring the end of the Putin regime closer, adds Atesh. According to the partisan movement, its agent managed to destroy the relay cabinet on the railway, and this led to problems in the work of the nearest railway station, Polyanka. It is noted that the actions of the occupiers indicate a desire to disperse their troops and equipment in Crimea in anticipation of new successful attacks by the Ukrainian defense forces. A horse barn in Logan County, Ohio, caught fire killing 44 horses and critically injuring one person who tried to rescue them. About 85 horses were stabled at Brandt Performance Horses, which is located one hour northwest of Columbus in Bell Center, Ohio, and uses a barn that is roughly 60,000 square feet in size. It also included a residential room for staff members and a performance area for the horses. According to Jason Johns, assistant fire chief of the Richland Township Fire Department, firefighters from Logan, Hardin, and Union Counties collaborated to put out the barn fire. According to Kathy Brandt of Brandt Performance Horses, an employee discovered the fire for the first time on last Saturday about noon. An employee was in the barn, saw smoke and yelled fire, Brandt told ABC News. She said an explosion occurred only seconds later and generated a larger fire. Eric Priest, owner of Priest Performance's horses in Bell Center, who kept some of his horses at the barn, ran inside to attempt to free the horses and was caught in the explosion. He sustained second and third degree burns to his arms, back and head, according to Brandt, and faces possible surgery. Firefighters were at the scene for about 12 hours on Saturday. Slowly but surely we were getting the fire to calm down, Johns told ABC News. The building was already starting to collapse and it wasn't safe to enter. For employees lived in the building and lost everything, Brandt said. While a constant stream of fire trucks, tankers, concrete trucks, and other equipment and people descended on the scene, Logan County Sheriff's deputies halted traffic on SR 638 in the vicinity. on Township Road 51 West, headed east, uh, got this big smoke cloud, like something just blew up or was on fire, I'm not sure what is going on there.
just rolling. It does, the camera doesn't even do justice. 